Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this 2022 Kia EV6 on EPU V test drive. This one is the highest trim. It is the GT line. There's three trims you could choose from. There is the light, wind, and uh, this one, which is the GT line. And honestly, this thing looks very, very nice in person. It is an electric car and seriously, Kia did a great job with it. But let's go ahead and take it on e test drive and see how it does. Alright, so here is the interior of this 2022 Kia EV6. This thing looks amazing from the inside, looks beautiful from the outside, and I think Kia did a great job with their design. And uh, yeah, overall, feels nice and spacious, windows are nice and big, and uh, yeah, the layouts, the buttons, everything, the touches, everything feels good, high quality, premium, and uh, seriously, Kia killed it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the backup camera before I move. The backup camera is very, very good. The 360 is amazing. You could zoom in and zoom out. Uh, it does have the 3D uh, view, which honestly looks amazing. It is uh, from Genesis. And uh, you do have a down view at the rims. And here is the wide view and down view. And uh, yeah, seriously, the backup camera quality is amazing. For Ikea, I think they did a great job. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this EV6 on a test drive and see how it does. All right, so driving this 2022 Kia EV6 drives nice and smooth, very comfortable. Um, I think I prefer the suspension in this EV6 more than the Ionic 5. It feels more comfortable. Uh, but something that I'm noticing uh, is uh, the the humming sound from the electric motor. So a lot of um, EVs make some noises, but this thing is constant. You could hear the sound of the humming con constantly, so not a big fan of that. Let's go ahead and take this EV6 on the highway and see how it does. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode and it just gets so aggressive. makes this really cool electric sound it sounds amazing honestly but uh, yeah very comfortable ride I really like this EV6 um, I did a full review of uh, this EV6 and I was very impressed with the technology Kia put into this We'll go ahead and put it back in normal mode. It does make the same noise as sport mode, but in sport mode, it's more, it's out there. You could hear it a little bit more. Um, road quality, uh, the um, road noises, wind noises, and the cabin noise is actually not too bad. Um, nice and quiet, but you could hear a little bit from the trucks outside so let's say if i'm next a truck and then i could definitely hear uh, them um, handling is i would say okay um, definitely feels nice and solid but um, there's a good amount of uh, body lean but yeah this thing actually is impressive um, Interior looks amazing. There is two uh, screens. There is a 12 inch screen on the right and a 12 inch screen on the left. And uh, yeah, this thing 
is beautiful, very comfortable. The seats are nice and comfortable. And as I mentioned, the windshield and the windows are nice and big and uh, steering wheel has a really nice design to it. Um, there's the safety features uh, right here. And uh, yeah, seriously, very, very impressed with this um, EV6. If you click this button, that will turn on the climate controls. And uh, by the way, if you click this button right here, it will change this screen. So you could go to, let's say map, navigation, that will take you there. And uh, Hyundai and Kia system is very nice and smooth. Uh, this EV6 has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And uh, seriously, I really, really like this EV6. Uh, there's three trims you could choose from. There is the light, wind, and GT. The GT is the highest trim and it is this one. And um, right behind the steering wheel, there's some paddle shifters. They feel nice and solid. And uh, yeah, overall, everything looks good. This material right here is like, kind of like cloth leather. There is this small screen when you um, signal. Turning radius is good. And it does get up to speed very quick does have all the nice safety features and by the way guys uh, this uh, EV6 is 60,000 very comfortable and very smooth a lot of power and by the way if you guys are curious about the battery size it does have a 77.4 uh, kilowatt hour battery and uh, this EV6 produces 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque and this thing is very very responsive let's go ahead and turn on the safety system steering assist is on and uh, you could set the distance between you and the car in front of you and basically the car is on the um, safety system is on Very good system, I really, really like it. Kia, Genesis, and um, Hyundai system, safety system, is actually one of my favorite uh, systems. Very smooth and uh, not jerky. And by the way, this uh, EV6 has regenerative braking, so it is at eye pedal, which basically means one pedal driving. You let go off the uh, pedal, and the car will come to a complete stop. Yep, so it does come to a complete stop. Yeah, this thing is seriously responsive, guys. Very comfortable and uh, very impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the traction control system in this EV6 to see how it is. Um, Kia, the Ionic 5 and uh, this EV6 is mostly a rear bias uh, car. So there is a lot of torque. A lot of torque gets sent to the back, but uh, yeah, accelerating in this <laughs> EV6 is amazing quick and responsive the steering wheel i've noticed that it is a little bit on the not direct side which i'm not a big fan of but it is what it is uh, in sport mode it does get nice and heavy turning radius is actually very good in this ev6 even though it has the same um uh, wheelbase as uh, the Kia Telluride. <laughs> yeah, as I said, the steering wheel is 
not as direct. It doesn't really feel that connected to the road. I really wish it had a little bit more connection um, so I know what's going on uh, or I know what the front tires are doing. But yeah, it feels very um, numb and just doesn't really feel connected to the road. So not a big fan of it, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put it in sport mode and uh, do an acceleration right here on this turn and see how this um, EV6 uh, will do. The ambient system or the ambient lights in this um, EV6 is amazing. I did do a full review, so if you guys are interested in that full review, make sure to check it out. Yep, definitely the back uh, tires uh, spin. As I said, it is a back or it is a rear wheel drive or I should say it sends a lot of power, a lot of uh, torque to the back uh, wheels. But this thing is beautiful, comfortable. Seats are nice and uh, comfortable. Um, the price is a little bit expensive, 59,000, almost 60,000. But honestly, you do get a good amount of things. Um, but I think Kia did a great job. Uh, by the way, it does have heated and cold uh, seats. Uh, here is the um, start button and the shifter looks good. And uh, there's brake hold. There is a wireless phone charger. The um, uh, sensors, you could turn on the sensor, the parking sensors uh, from this button right here. And then there is the camera button. It turns on, I think around like, you have to go, you have to be doing less than five miles per hour for that button to actually turn. And uh, by the way, guys, there is just a ton of storage places in this EV6. The sound this thing makes is nice. And uh, yeah, as I said, it does have all the nice safety features and uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This beautiful 12.3 inch screen just looks phenomenal. Um, let's go back to maps. And as I said, um, Kia, Hyundai safety at the, their um, screen system is uh, good um, I really like what they did here you could just literally toggle through this to go from the shortcuts and uh, to the um, climb controls very very good I really like the gauges and uh, yeah everything is very easy to understand there's a lot of things in this uh, screen but once you get used to it it's super easy um, again, guys, there's just a ton of storage places. There's one USB-C, two USBs, and one 12 volt in the bottom. And uh, inside there is a nice deep storage place, but there's no USBs or 12 volts inside. There is touch sensitive buttons for the lights. There's this button right here. We'll turn on all the lights in this um, EV6. Uh, it is nice and quiet in here. Very comfortable. And those paddle shifters, as I said, they are for the regen braking. So you could make it more aggressive, less aggressive. I like to keep it around like level one or level two. Heated seats work very good. And by the way, it does have heated steering wheel. Uh, which is of course nice in the cold climates seriously guys very very impressed with this thing 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque seriously amazing but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this pov test drive of this 2022 Kia EV6. I would like to thank Trevor and Napoli, uh, Napoli Kia here in Milford, Connecticut for running me this um, EV6. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information, a link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.